signs welcome back to my channel presence of a goddess thank you guys for joining me today today is just going to be a quick reading for the earth signs so if it resonates awesome appreciate if you subscribe like and share it all to you think it'll resonate too i do appreciate you and if you want to book a personal reading with me the information is down below and if you want to donate to the channel it is highly appreciated earth signs all right i'm sending you love peace and blessings whenever you receive this message so the angel number i have for you guys is 105 here okay 105 inner voice listen to yourself the guidance you need to cultivate is your own your inner voice is speaking and your angels are calling you to listen carefully lie in meditation clear your mind and ask your higher self to assist with your connection to this voice also here god isn't finished with me yet so this could be you talk, telling yourself this or you just know that no matter what you go through god isn't finished with you all right Follow your intuition and listen to that inner voice because it's telling you the truth here. Let's see what's the main energy for my earth sign towards Capricorn and Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. All right. You learned a lot of lessons, all right? You're maturing. You're becoming mature now. Somebody just got their hair done into locks or something about a lot of downloads. Ace of Cups here. You could have did the big chop here. Something with your hair is related to this reading. All right, you did something with your hair, okay? This is like a sign of a spiritual awakening, all right? Nine of Wands here. Ace of Cups, Will of Fortune, Nine of Wands. Yeah, you already know God is not finished with you. You got some confirmation or about to receive some confirmation about what you are saying to yourself. There's a new beginning here, a beautiful blessing, a beautiful new beginning. Some of you guys could be having a baby or some of you guys um, birthed a new beginning here, okay? Somebody could have like a tourist placement here. I feel like um, you were stubborn doing something, but your stubbornness actually was a blessing in disguise. Nobody understood you. Some people would probably, like I said, calling you lazy or trying to demean your character here because you did something that nobody else would do because you're different here. You stand out here, okay? Maybe um, you changed the way you did something because you're very hardworking, but you knew that you were working in circles and you had to surrender and allow God to take over. And this the way that God takes over, he allows you to rest. And people don't understand that because people want you to run around like a, a chicken cut off, head cut off because they want you to be like them. They want you to be exhausted like them. And you were not doing that. You stopped doing that. To have you on a tourist placement, you knew you deserve everything in life. And you said, I'm going to get it, but I'm not going to get it the way y'all think I'm going to get it. And maybe this is what God was telling you. God talked to you in secret here. And people were mad about that because they wanted to know what God was telling you. Okay, they want to know your plans. You were moving in silence and you were not telling these people your plans here. You just said, God plan, God plan. And I was just listening to that. Somebody could have Scorpio placements. Yeah, the star card. You healed from something in the beginning of the year. I was about to say beginning of the school year. So it's all about school year. You learned a lot of lessons. All right, you heal something that's bringing in a new beginning. I see a whole lot of water. You cleanse. You cried. And it's over. You're renewed here. You cried until you could not cry no more. People could not understand this. You could, You probably didn't even understand. Why I keep on crying? Because you were cleansing. A pearl. Some about um abundance here. Healing. Pearls are healing. Associated with the moon. Goddess. Isis. Goddess is with you. She helped you restore. Yeah, Maya. They help you restore and cleanse you. All right, some of the stars is aligned for you. They knew that you needed that time to heal. So you were resting. You were not doing a lot of physical things because you had to heal. All right, something with the Aquarius season could be very significant. Something is moving forward. Will of Fortune. Yeah, the Hangman. You had to go within. This is a like. This is not a lot of movement. This is a lot of going within. You you didn't seek without. This is a whole lot of mental and emotional cleansing something moving forward after a stall here okay so if you've been if you had a period of waiting a period of not movement a period of hermit mode it's because god was holding you back for something so you can cleanse up something to remove a lot of things because you started from the bottom up god's plan this was god this was god's plan all along for you earth signs saturn energy something is ended in your karmic cycle nine of wands here Okay, and the ones expect to hear something. Something's coming in fast in a hurry. This is good news. Yeah, because somebody's having a source. A lot of sneaky shit was uh, was happening around you. The spirit had needed you to peep that. Put and nip that in the bud here. 
Yeah, the Knight of Cups. A lot of ha lying shit. A lot of half stories. You were not getting a full story from somebody that was lying to you. This is more than one person. A lot of people were ganging up on you. It reminded me of that reading where I said in Taurus. I said um, about that Taurus. It was a Taurus reading. And I said, they looking for you. These people were looking for you to, to attack you with the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands here. Okay? Yeah, the, but the Ace of Pentacles and the Judgment card, you won. You won the battle here. All right, you knew God was not finished with you, even though you was in this waiting period. You did the you did the work here. Wow. Okay, so let's clarify the star card with the Ace of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Lovers, you made the right choice. Virgo energy, you made the right choice. All right, a lot of people were doing magic on you. Seven of Pentacles, sixty-seven. They're block. All right, they cannot come with you. You made the right choices for the people that's coming with you and the people who are not. All right, right, left, right, left, marching. You're marching forward here. Something about boot camp. It's like God had you in boot camp so that you can become a soldier, so you can be stronger than you were before. These people were brainwashing you, weakening you, making you make the wrong choices, you know. Yeah, the environment you were in was just not for you. The people you were around is just not for you. You had to learn a lesson here. I also feel like this could even do with love. You had to make the right choice on who the people you love, what you thought was love, okay, Hermit card. You can love somebody, but you ain't got to deal with them. Yeah, the fool, heavy on a Virgo, Hermit, fool, Ten of Pentacles. You're, yeah, you're about to be blessed here. Expect to receive a lot of blessings, a lot of money here. Okay, a lot of success here. Okay, a successful business here. This could even be love, but you better get into a new relationship because your your other part your partner was doing going through the same thing through the dark night of the soul. Maybe they had the same similar issue. You guys are gonna have similar stories together. Or you do something's going from a zero to a ten real quick. All right, this could be a relationship, a business, and also um your life is going from zero to a zero to a ten real quick. God's plan. God's plan. Yeah, nine zero ten nine ten. Okay, so the yeah, it's like the new beginning. In order for you to get into this new beginning, you had to go through the dark night of the soul. So that's where your new beginning started was the dark night of the soul. But you didn't see it that way because it was like very daunting. All right, but you had to go through the dark night of the soul. You completed it with the ten of pentacles. That's completion. So you're about to receive a lot of rewards here for completing the dark night of the soul here. Yeah, so that's what I'm seeing. What do we have for the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Wands here? You could be getting a lot of downloads, a lot of information, a lot of wisdom here. Wisdom that's going to bring you far in life, okay? Because, like, the energy you were in in the past, you were not going to be successful being around a bunch of clowns. Y'all in the circus, okay, doing clown shit. So it's kind of like you had to get out of the circus and get civilized. If the way they say, get civilized, get your shit, get your shit together. You had to get your shit together. Yeah, so this is why you and your person could not connect together. You could not be in union. You see, this is upside down. I normally don't do upside down, but I'm going to do it anyway. Your your partner could not come to you in a new relationship right away because the ace of wands of getting you wanted a relationship right away. Because maybe this is where you assume it. You were like, okay, I'm away from the people that I need to be away from. So where my where my person at? For some of you guys, you're still going through the dark night of soul, but take it as a resident. I feel like your person could not come to you right away because you were not mature right, right away. You know, some people, they think, oh, I got my shit together to where my person. But really, we we think we got our shit together, but not the way God need us to get it together. But you got your shit together now, and, and your person got their shit together, and now you guys can be together here, okay? You guys got your stuff together. Yeah, something about reading the book. You could be reading the Bible here. You're learning a deeper meaning of the Bible and not the way Christians think. And I'm not trying to shade nobody, no Christians here. But um, it's more beyond what you're reading. It's not literal. There's a lot of meta metaphorical and metaphysical uh, meanings in the Bible here. Um, I'm not going to teach the Bible, but, you know, because you, the way you build a relationship with God, is that's the, your way. But I'm just going to give you some gems that... It's not all literal. But the number five could be very significant. The month of May could be very significant. May the 5th, single to mile. But something's moving forward here. A relationship, a commitment is moving forward now that you matured here. Because I do have the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles. You had to let go of somebody here. You put somebody on a high pedestal. But somebody about to put you on a high pedestal. Because somebody ghosted you or somebody slowed you down here. And maybe you're realizing this. Maybe you still had somebody in your energy or you were still picking the wrong type of relationship. And that could be because, you know, you can have one thing good in your life. You're doing good in one aspect, but in another aspect, you are you still need work on it. So now you're fully balanced for both aspects to get this relationship. So, yeah, you're making better decisions. That's what I'm seeing here. 
So let's see about the star card with the Ace of Cups. Change, expect change, yeah, expect change. You've been waiting for this change for three years here. All right, since the last year, September, okay, it could be significant. You freed yourself in September here. What is the Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you could be seeing a lot of birds. What is this? You're maturing. You're becoming very mature. You're not letting nothing weigh you down anymore. Yeah, you're mature enough to go on this new journey that Spirit is blessing you with, with the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, so you're you're mature now. You're spiritually mature. You, you connected with God on a deeper level. You connected with yourself on a deeper level. You have a lot of wisdom, and now you're understanding a lot of things. Things are going to come into full circle. All right, that reminds me of the reading I did before where I said, with the soulmate reading, I said, you and your person, the reason why y'all could not be together before is because you were not mature, but you're mature now. So you guys are mature to be together here. Yeah, privileged lady. Yeah, okay. Blessings. Yeah, wealthy man. This is what you're about to receive, a wealthy man. Ten of Pentacles, somebody who, a power couple, okay? Both of you guys got y'all shit together. Y'all ready for this, this powerful couple here? Yeah, occupation. You guys are going to build a legacy together. Yeah, community. Make a difference in the community here. All right? Yeah, you guys want to be like on TikTok or something? I don't know. That's the thing nowadays. Yeah, 13, 12. Y'all meant to be together. You and your person. You're going to be with the true divine person that you're meant to be with. It's going to be worth the wait here. You're going to be like, dang, I'm glad I waited because I found you. Yeah. All right? Appearance transformation. Yeah, you went through a, a transformation here. Catch me if you can. I told you, somebody has tourists in them. Somebody was trying to find you. Somebody was chasing after you, stalking your location or something. And God had to get them fully away from you. So if you lost a lot of items and stuff, this was meant to happen because God said you're not taking that shit with you. Not if it's attached to these karmics here. All right? And I know he didn't say shit, but you know. <laughs> yeah, you're center of attention. You get, you get a lot of people that's jealous of you. Somebody could be from the west side here. Have you on water sign placements. You get a lot of attention. You're attractive. Look, privileged lady. You catch eyes. You're going to be something different about you. You look different. You smell different. You do different. Like I said, you could be changing your hair or changing your looks, the way you look here, changing your routine. But I feel like something is different in you. Can't nobody recognize the new you because you're glowing. You're on a whole different level. They can't recognize the new you or they cannot relate because the way you move, the way you do is different. Yeah. Okay. Respect my growth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Take action projection. Yeah, you're being called to take action. Don't listen to the people that are trying to project on you. You're going through an energy shift here. Okay. Because energy don't lie, but people do. So you're being led to let go, fully let go here. Yeah, because you're about to receive some good news and love here. Yeah, lessons and blessings, period. What else do I need to say? All right, I'm going to finish off with this and be good to go. Oh, snap. Instead of thinking outside the box, get rid of the box. Yeah, Spirit had to get rid of all that shit with me. And like I say, you have to... um. And like I said, uh, let go of a limited mindset here. That's what I mean. Like, don't hold back. Period. And I feel like Spirit had to let go of a lot of shit that was connected to karmics because they were not good for you. It was a whole lot of projection, a whole lot of spell work, a whole lot of stalking here. Um, but you you have matured and you're able to go with your true divine, masculine or feminine. All right, guys. Love you.